Welcome back. So we've been talking on this show. I've been traveling all over the country doing a lot of stories about the state of education in mm. our country. Um, and this week is another good one because it applies to so many districts um, around the country. If you're watching, it might be happening in your city or your town. Teacher shortages. Mm. We are having such a problem around the country with, frankly, not getting enough teachers. Um, and I was looking at why is that the case? Why can't we get teachers into the school? Here's just one number for you. Apparently, salaries in the U.S. Mm -hmm. are 60 cents, or you get 60 cents for every dollar for the same amount of education. Just here in the U.S. So if you have the same degree that I do and I become a teacher, I get 60 cents to your dollar. Wow. That's just the start. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're so seeing all of these important. strikes in Los Angeles and now Denver. I think they're going to strike on Monday. So I went to talk to um, the head of the National Education or uh, Education Association, the Teachers Union mm -hmm. um, in D.C. Here's what she had to say. There's a shortage of people who are certified, qualified teachers who want to teach under the circumstances that they're asked to teach in. We now see, in some places, 50% of teachers who accept a position, uh, and within five years, they say, I can't do this anymore, and they leave. They feel not only disrespected that they don't have the programs, they don't have the support staff, the nurses, the counselors that they need. Um, they're not even paid enough to pay off their student loans. And we wonder why these highly energetic, qualified folks leave uh, who's going to want to stay under those circumstances? This is an issue. So the state of California, obviously, I mean, especially with the things going on in Los Angeles, has the largest amount of students. We were like, let's go to California. Yeah. Let's see what's going on there. We found a county, Ventura County, more than half of the districts, there are 20 districts, more than half of them have teacher shortages. And of those, I think nearly two-thirds of those don't have teachers who, enough teachers who are fully credentialed. Yeah. So they're trying wow. to fix this cycle. They started a program there that seems to be working. So I'll talk to some of those teachers um, tomorrow and on weekend today. My mother was a school teacher for a, a, a number of years before moving into administration. And at one point, uh, she was making so little that she actually had to pick up a second job. Mm -hmm. uh, when which do they is have time to do a second right. job? They have to buy their own school supplies. They have to, you know, also come up with creative ways to teach their kids. Exactly. Have yeah. We haven't even started talking about the, the fact that in some country or in some areas in this country, you know, poverty is an extreme problem. So then you go to schools in those areas, you're dealing with so many other issues mm -hmm. that come into the classroom. So let's say you find this mathematician who works at a local community college and you say, hey, come to this elementary school and teach math. He says, I can do that. Okay. Yeah. He gets in there and after a couple of years, he's like, can't, can't do, do it. it. I can't do it. Wow. And that's what's happening. Another yeah. problem is also around the country, teachers um, not necessarily being in the districts that need the most. And by, by that, I mean, we know that there's a direct correlation between poverty and achievement. Yes. And, and schools that desperately need the best teachers, mm -hmm. typically the best teachers don't want to go and no. teach there. That's, it's the cycle and we're trying to figure out how to fix it. So that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow. But there are some great teachers. Oh, who do absolutely. Go, of course, yeah. 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 my mom is one go of them. There, right? yeah. Who actually choose to go there and stick with it and, and try and help those kids yeah. to get fed mm -hmm. and uh, try and work with them on their family life and everything and, and give amazing. people an education. Life changing. Yeah. The teachers that we talk with tomorrow, they say, you know what? For us, it's our passion and we mm -hmm. love it. So yeah. it's about the kids. We'll talk yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, speaking, speaking of kids.